Peter. I don't want to frighten you. Stay there. Stay right there. Don't move. Okay. But I'd like to tell you a few things, if that's all right. I know this is impossible to understand, Peter. I thought I knew what to say, but I don't. I don't know what to say to you, except I'm sorry. It's me. It's me, Peter, and I'm sorry. You're not my father. I am your father, Peter. I want you just to listen. To me. My father is dead. Peter, listen to me. He's dead! Who are you? I had to disappear, and I'm sorry. Understand that. I had to disappear to keep you safe. To keep you safe, Peter. I don't What? Care. What? Say it! Say what you want to say! What do you want to say? Where have you been? You're dead! I had to die to keep you alive. I had to disappear to keep you safe, Peter. Listen to me. Listen to me. I had to disappear to keep my mistakes from catching up with you. I had to stay away from you to keep Osborne from hurting you. You understand what I'm saying? There was no other way to keep you safe. Peter, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Why now? Why'd you come back now? Your mother knew there would come a time in your life when you would need us more than anyone else. Before she died, I promised her that I'd be there for you no matter what. And that time came. I know what it's like to lose everything you love. And now, we both speak for the dead. If you lose hope, then the Osbournes of the world really have one. Your mother died for nothing. Gwen died for nothing. I can't come to terms with a world like that. I don't know. I don't know how to go on without her. You don't. You take her with you. I'm not the same man I used to be, Peter. I used to be arrogant, arrogant enough to believe that it was my destiny to save people, to save the world, my work. But somehow, after everything I did to hide my work, it still found its way to the only person on Earth who could possibly unlock it. And I realize now maybe it was never my destiny to save anything. It's yours, son. And with great power, comes great responsibility. I love you, son.